Hello everyone, my name is Song Jun Jo, working for Korea Institute of Geoscience and Mineral Resources, called Kigan. I'm in charge of Mineral Resources Development Research Center. Today, I'll introduce our research project to explore critical minerals, especially battery minerals. First, I will introduce what are the battery minerals that we are interested in and why we should explore those. We choose three battery minerals, vanadium, graphite, lithium, and I will show the exploration procedure and the result in order. After that, I will finalize my talk with the future work briefly. First chapter is what, why battery minerals. Nowadays, one of the most important battery is a lithium-ion battery because of increasing demand for electric vehicles. Lithium-ion battery consists of another cathode electrolyte and separator mainly. Electric vehicles require very high amount of lithium and cobalt, as you can see. We have a past supply risk. Um, Cathode metal graphite is also very much needed. Vanadium redox flow battery VRFB is a very promising system among the candidates for the use in ESS due to its large energy capability, high safety, flexible control of the energy to power ratio, and long life duration. But it has a fatal disadvantage. Vanadium is too expensive. Vanadium cost account for almost a half a portion of VRFB cost. This slide shows world mineral annual production. Supply risk of lithium and vanadium are due to small production compared to other metallic minerals. As you can see, lithium and vanadium had been produced as a byproduct usually. So we were decided to focus on three battery minerals, vanadium, lithium, and graphite, which have a high possibility to be developed geologically in Korea. Let's move to vanadium exploration. Vanadium is produced with several deposit types. Typical vanadium deposit are vanadium perros, titanomagnetite, a VTM deposit, sandstone hosted veil deposit and the black shell hosted veil deposit and a little portion of vanadium are coming from past fuels. Among them, VTM account for more than 80% of vanadium product in the world. Fortunately, we have a VTM deposit in Korea. VTM deposit can be found around the world in base igneous rock and in some metamorphic rock. The deposit occur as tubular or irregular shaded bodies or seams and vein-like areas or in layers. VTM deposit consists of magmatic accumulations of magnetite and ilmenite. The typical deposit are the Bushveld complex, the Benjihua layered intrusion, we have been looking for VTM deposit target area based on regional aeromagnetic data mining histories. We found magnetite mines of also magmatic deposit time. One of them has been running now. Our geologist visited there and found the evidence of VTM deposit, so we selected that mine area for vanadium exploration. We have two calls before we conduct the vanadium exploration in this area. One is to find a new ore body from the exploration. The other is to make an exact procedure to find the VTM deposit because we need to find another VTM deposit in the country. This slide shows 
the flow chart of a detailed mineral exploration in my team. We conduct geological geochemical survey and we pick up the rock samples for rock properties measurement. And the aeromagnetic survey are carried out with a helicopter and a drone. Of course, surface geophysical survey are drone. We put all data to the 3D geological modeling platform and construct 3D geological model. Finally, we'll get the potential resource map using an integrated interpretation in the platform. This slide shows the rock samples and the rock physics measurement system. We picked up the rock samples from drilling cores that the mining company provided and the outcrop around the mine area. We measured the rock physical properties such as resistivity, chargeability, magnetic susceptibility, and so on. Red box in this slide point out the result of rock physics measurement of high grade ore and low grade ore. This means high grade, this means it's low grade. Especially, high grade ore has a very high density and extremely high magnetic susceptibility and also a very low resistivity and a high chargeability which are as well matched as we expected because high grade vanadium is closely correlated to high grade magnetite based on the geological survey result we conducted aeromagnetic survey several times first Helicopter magnetic survey system covered a little wider area. After that, we selected detailed exploration area and the drone magnetic survey system covered the area with the dense survey lines and the different elevations, which realized the gradiometer survey. IP survey was carried out and the result in low resistivity and high chargeability anomaly area. One of the high anomaly regions are selected for the target drilling. Yeah. The selected area for drilling could not be approached on the surface because of extremely rugged terrain. Our team had to find the abandoned mine tunnel. We could drill to 100 meters with 10 degrees slope at the end of the tunnel and hit the high grade or target with 5 meter width, which have more than 0.5% vanadium and 40% magnetite grade. This movie shows how we use a 3D geological modeling platform in terms of Delta Twin. We constructed a 3D geological model based on 1 to 50,000 geological map. And uh, these show a geochemical result. This mine is operating now, so we got the uh, mining data from the mine and conducted radar survey. Then we made the underground 3D mine replication. And also we dumped all geophysical data uh, to the platform resistivity, aeromagnetic inversion result. This is a magnetic inversion result. And also uh, we did a uh, drone survey here. Uh, this is the result of the uh, photogrammetry uh, from drone. And also, uh, we carried out a uh, drone magnetic survey here. And this is a, a result of the inversion of a drone magnetic data. So you can see the 
high uh, magnetic anomaly here. And finally, we designed that this reading works on the platform. Now we move to graphite exploration. This project is to find where is the high possible reason for the new graphite ore body in this area. This area has the abandoned small graphite mine. The exploration area is here. From the geological survey, the whole track is the migmatite. And also, our geologists mapped the uh, surface that is solid boundaries between migmatite nice, graphite ore, calcasilicate rocks, and granite. And also, characterize the geological structure and graphite mineralization. In this area, massive graphite is mineralized in alternating layers and the graphite ores are parallel to any striking and the stably dipping sure zone are developed like this this from the rock peaks measurement we knew that the metallic minerals are not included in the graphite ore in this area I mean, uh, it gives us very low magnetic susceptibility here. In the other area, some graphite is associated with uh, pyrotite. In the case, a uh, low magnetic survey would work well, but here the graphite don't have every component here. And also, uh, the electrical contrast. Uh, between graphite ore and host rock, it's obvious, especially the resistivity is uh, very low, and also chargeability is uh, very high compared to the uh, host rock. We conduct the magnetic survey for delineating the rhizological boundaries. We used a uh, mega arrow of geometrics. And also uh, we got the data with the uh, autonomous fly mode. We didn't get the rhizological boundaries uh, from the magnetic inversion, which is inferred from a geological map. And also we didn't find uh, some magnetic contrast between graphite ore and host rocks as we expected. We designed the six survey lines for solid electrical resistance tomography like this. An abandoned mine existed around here. Uh, at the time, uh, we used uh, electro spacing with a 10 meter, 20 meter, and 30 meter, and also uh, array type is uh, dipole dipole array, multiplied purple array. We got the switch resistivity mode like this. Blue color means a low resistivity value. And also, which is a target in this exploration? Uh, because uh, from the rock physics data, we know that uh, graphite has a very low uh, resistivity. So, this is uh, our target here. We construct a series of geological model here uh, based on geological map and geological survey result. The basement is a granite here. And we know that uh, the direction of uh, host rock migmatite nice is uh, northeast, which is uh, correlated to the world direction. This slide shows the potential graphite resources model reconstructed from 3D resistivity model. 
we import the volume of the less than 10 nanometers as the graphite ore like this the volume of uh, 10 nanometer is here I'm going to move to our final target lithium. Our target lithium deposit is a rare element of pegmatite deposit. In this slide, main lithium deposit or brine type deposit. Nowadays, more than 70% of lithium are produced from prime lithium deposit. Among the hard rock lithium deposit, almost all lithium is produced from pegmatite deposit. So we don't have a brine deposit in Korea, so we have to focus on pegmatite deposit. After we reviewed the mining history, the geology map and regional geochemical survey data, we choose this area for LCT, lithium, cesium, tantalium, pegmatite exploration, which is located in northeast region in Korea. And last year, uh, we conducted aeromagnetic, geochemical, geological, and geophysical surveys and constructed the prototype of a 3D geological model. But uh, I don't have enough time today, so I will skip the result. I'm going to move to a final topic, future work. This figure shows the final goal of our research. We have many data layers, such as geochemistry, airborne magnetic, and geological map, drilling data, and surface geophysical data, and so on. First, we construct a 3D geological model, like this, mainly based on geological map and drilling data. After 3D block modeling, all data are transferred to 3D GIS DB with proper interpretation. Based on a 3D block model, various GIS queries create useful data for mineral targeting. After data integration using just statistical method or machine learning, we'll get a 3D mineral potential map for vanadium, graphite, and lithium. Now, we are producing and gathering the data and finding the key index for vanadium, graphite, and lithium targeting. Soon, I figure we'll get a final goal. Thank you for your attention.